Hey Magic fans, welcome to the latest Magic Player History episode on the career of Todd Lichty. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn the story of every Magic player who ever suited up for the franchise. Lichty finished his four-year college career as Stanford's all-time leading scorer and entering the 1989 NBA draft, he was reportedly considered by the Magic to be taken as their first ever draft pick. The Magic settled on Nick Anderson at number 11 though and Lichty was taken with the 15th overall pick by the Denver Nuggets. Lichty had a strong rookie season but afterward, he was involved in a car accident where his fiancée was killed and Lichty's foot was crushed. He admitted the accident had a physical and mental effect on his career. Despite the personal tragedy, Lichty fought back and improved in his second year before succumbing to a season-ending knee injury in January. Lichty battled injuries on and off for two more seasons in Denver before tearing his ACL in March of 1993. Lichty didn't get surgery on his knee until the summer, and in August, he was traded along with Anthony Cook to Orlando for Brian Williams. When the Magic's training camp opened in October, Lichty was still recovering from his ACL surgery, but he rushed back early against doctors' recommendations, saying he didn't have the time or the marquee name to wait. Lichty travelled with the Magic to Europe and got onto the court in the preseason games against Atlanta. With the Magic stacked at the wing positions, there was speculation that he might be traded to the Bulls for Scott Williams until Williams suffered his own knee injury, and so Lichty started the regular season on the Magic's injured list. When starting forward Larry Kostowiak went down with a foot injury, Lichty was activated, and he played three games in December. His best outing was against Seattle, where he scored six points in 12 minutes of play. With so many perimeter players, Lichty couldn't get minutes, and he headed back to the injured list in January with what was reported as a pulled hamstring. Before the days of active and inactive lists, NBA teams routinely hit players on the injured list with minor or fabricated injuries. The New York Knicks and other teams reportedly complained to the NBA about the Magic hiding a healthy Lichty on their injured list. With too many players, trade rumours swirled leading into the trade deadline with Danny Manning targeted by the Magic in a potential deal for Dennis Scott and Lichty. Lichty was activated for a game leading into the deadline to try and prove his fitness, where he went scoreless in four minutes against Seattle. Shaq reportedly nixed the idea of trading away his good friend Scott, leaving the Magic unable to make any deals. And with Kristowiak healthy again, something had to give. Lichty stated that this season certainly has tried my patience. I really feel like I can help this team, if given the opportunity. The Magic tried to trade Lichty for a draft pick, but with no takers, they couldn't stash him back on the injured list and were forced to waive him after the trade deadline. Lichty was picked up on 10-day contracts for short stints with the Golden State Warriors and Boston Celtics, but by season's end, he was unable to get an NBA contract, with teams believing he would never be able to overcome his knee injuries. After a year off to finally get healthy, Lichty signed to play for the Perth Wildcats of the Australian NBL, the first player with an Orlando Magic connection to play in the Australian League. Lichty showed he had plenty left in the tank, playing four seasons for the Wildcats, averaging 16.8 points and 5.4 rebounds per game. After retiring from the sport, Lichty remained in Australia, making his home in Melbourne. In Lichty's four-game Orlando Magic career, he averaged two points and one rebound per game. I hope you enjoyed this look at the magic career of Todd Lichty. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and check back soon for our next episode on the magic career of Geert Hemming.